I'm Abby. I'm Shanae, and welcome to this week's edition of the Bulldog News. Last Monday was the first day of spring. Let's start with a spring joke. Why couldn't the flower ride its bike? I don't know. Why couldn't the flower ride its bike? Because it lost its pedals. The students will not have any school March, Monday, March 27th. The teachers will have a work day on Monday. They will be here without us? Yes. What will they do all day? They will probably have meetings and work all alone in their rooms. I'll bet they'll miss us. Yep, I'll bet they will, they'll miss us. Third quarter report cards are going home next. on next Wednesday, March 29th. Box, box tops, Campbell's soup can barcodes, and pop can tabs are being collected in the library. The school earns money for the library books that are used by everyone in the PK through 3. So far th this year, we have collected over 25,000 items. Great job, and remember to bring in your box tops, cannibal soup can, barcodes, barcodes, and pop can tablets. Mrs. McDonald has been working hard to make an art museum for the PK through 3. It's located near the art room. She's working on the picture frames and hopes to have student artwork displayed a few weeks. Why don't students have school on Monday? It's the end of the third quarter. <laughs> the teacher have meetings and work time. I'll bet they'll miss us. Yep, I'll bet they'll miss us. Time for another spring joke. When do people start using the trampoline? I don't know. When do people start using the trampoline? Springtime! <laughs> I like that one. Springtime. Speaking of time, do you know what time it is? It's for Mr. Moe's nose. Oh, good. That's my favorite part. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Moe's Nose. How's it going today? Sorry I'm late, Mr. <laughs> That's all right, Baron. Uh, thanks for joining me today. For those of you that don't know, Baron is a junior at PEM and plays football, basketball, and baseball for the Bulldogs. So you've been talking to classes about fairness, huh? Are you sure you know what, you know, know what you're talking about, Mr. Moles? <laughs> well, I guess Mr. Moles knows, right? I don't know everything, Baron. I'm just trying to help students realize they've ha they'll have much more fun doing activities and playing games if they play fair and follow the rules. I have to admit, I haven't always been the best about playing fair. I learned a lot about playing fair back in the day in elementary. Now as an 11th grader, I'm able to handle winning and losing. Of course, I try my best to win, but losing is also part of the game. Great advice, Baron. Wanting to win isn't a bad thing. That just means you're trying your best to be successful. If you follow the rules so everyone has an equal chance of winning, you're playing fairly and can be proud of yourself. I used to get really mad when I didn't win. I always wanted to yell and scream because I wanted to win so badly. Well, Baron, we have to remember when we play a game or an activity, we won't always win. We have to practice good sportsmanship whether we win or lose. What do you do after games to show good sportsmanship? You know, I, I make sure I shake hands with the other team after the game and I tell them good game. It's not easy to do that sometimes after a tough loss, but it's definitely the right thing to do. That's true, Baron. Well, thank you for helping me teach students about playing fair and being a good sport. Remember, Bulldogs, you can watch Baron and other Bulldogs play fairly during the baseball, softball, track, and golf seasons this spring. Baron is a very good pitcher and would love to see you at his baseball games. Have, Have a, a good, good weekend, weekend everyone. Thank you, Mr. Mouse. This week, let's work at being respectful. Let's be respectful by being nice and quiet in the hallways. There's a lot of important learning happening in the classrooms. Be especially quiet when you're walking past classrooms. Time for one last spring joke. Why are people always tighter in April? 
I don't know why are people always tired in April. Because they just finished a march. Remember, students don't have school next Monday, but the teachers will be here working. I'll bet they'll miss us. Yep, they'll. I'll bet they'll miss us. That's the Bulldog News for this week. Have a safe weekend.